So obviously in Salford at the moment, kind of austerity is a massive concern. 186 million has been taken out of the City Council's budget since 2010. Um, public sector workers have not been receiving a pay increase. You know, they've been getting 1% out of the government at the moment. That is not really a pay increase at all. People working really hard in what are really desperate circumstances at the moment. The demands on public services are going up. You know, we're not building council housing anymore because of the government's national planning policy <laughs> framework. We need to build more council housing in this city. And we also need to make sure we're providing adult social care. What's happening in social care at the moment is an absolute disgrace. Where we've got care workers that aren't even being paid the living wage, or the minimum wage, or the real true living wage, but providing such vital services within our city. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add about it? No, it's fantastic that Jeremy's decided to come and visit Salford, obviously, and you know his policies speak very much to the people of the city, and we desperately need a Labour government. Like, um, so, vote Labour. Do you think there's going to be a great deal today, or...? Do I think there's going to be a great deal? Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the turnout now, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, and also, it's a weekday, you know, a lot of people have work to go to, so unfortunately can't be with us today. So I know it's been a fantastic turnout. He's already launched his um, general election campaign this morning in, in Manchester, um, and it's gone really, really well. So let's just hope people get out and vote Labour. What would you say to young people? Well, I think if we look at young people, you know, political parties over the years, so, certainly since I've been involved in politics, uh, disenfranchise young people, so look at the labour market, the jobs market, young people are in zero-hour contract jobs, they're in part-time employment, they're in low-paid employment, look at the housing market, young people can't even afford to actually save for a mortgage to get on the housing ladder, they're forced into private rental, housing and occupation, and if you look at the education system, young people are also being exploited there with massive tuition fees, you know, they're starting off their lives and their careers in debt, um, so, you know, Jeremy speaks to all of that, and, you know, so does the Labour Party, and as you've seen recently with the Greater Manchester Mayor, Andy Burnham, he's put young people front and centre. So, for me, the Labour Party is the party for the young people.